Yo, what's going on guys? You're watching PSD to WordPress Lesson 22 and in this video we're going to go through the single.php template file. Alright then guys, so in WordPress there's essentially two types of content to begin with. You've got the single post content and the page content, right? Now the static page content is what we concentrated on in the last tutorial where we developed this page.php template file. So that was for things like your About Us page. All right, or your contact us page, whatever you want to call them. Now, the other type of content is the single post page for things like blogs or news items, right? Things that come with time. So you might post a new one every couple of days or something. And for that, we have a different template file. Now, if we look down here, we've got the single post page and we're doing blog posts. We've not created any of these yet. So we want to style this thing right here, blog post. And you're going to see that the first file WordPress is going to look for to display that page is the single hyphen post.php template. Now, we don't have this in our theme directory, but we could create it if we wanted to. I'm not going to do that because we can just use this single.php uh, template file to display those posts. So that is what we're going to do. We're going to concentrate on this single.php template file. Now, in the admin area of WordPress, um, the posts are in the post section. If you go to all posts, it's gonna list all of the posts. It comes with uh, this hello world post already written for you. So we can take a look at that and view it in the browser. And it currently looks something like this. So you've got your post content and then the comments down here as well. So we need to style this up a little bit. So let's have a look at this single.php file, which I've got open right here. Same as the others, it's got this get header and it's got these two tags here, the div and the main. Then we've got the loop going on right here to get all the posts content and display it uh, by calling this content template part, which is again in here for the posts content single. So it's all this stuff right here, okay? And if we go back to the single.php, after that it's got the post navigation, which is all the things like the, uh, the tags or the categories, so it's gonna list all those kind of things. And then after that, it's going to display the comments if we have any. And then it's going to have the sidebar and footer at the bottom. Now, I want to do a few things on this. First thing I want to do is get all this within the single, uh, not the single, the wrapper div. So let's create that wrapper div class equals wrapper. And this is going to bring all of that content within that central column, remember. Get rid of that and put it in the end over here. And we just need to scoot this stuff in. Do it again and bring that back out. Cool. So now all the content is within the middle. But if we have a look at this again and refresh. Oops, we've not saved it. Let's save that. Okay. Let's refresh now. Cool. So it's all within the central column now. But I don't want this down here. I want this up at the top over here. So to do that, what I'm going to do is create a couple of divs. First thing I'm going to do is create a div surrounding all of this content stuff right here. So I'll create a div called um, post content, right? So that's the ID. And then I'll put the closing div right about here, like that. And then after that, we're going to put the sidebar, and I want to contain this within a div as well. So I'll say div ID equals sidebar for this one. Then within that, I'm gonna drop this function so that all of that sidebar code is dumped within this div, all right? So let's take a look at that again. Nothing will have changed. But now we're gonna use those IDs to style this stuff up a little bit, all right? So let's right click and inspect the elements. And what we'll do is just open up the style sheet and go to the bottom. Okay, cool. And the first thing I want to do is grab all of this post content right here. And I'll say post content. And I'm going to float it to the left. And I'm going to give it a width of about 70%, I think. Like that. Now you'll notice over here, it's gone right up to the top. Can you see right up against that Resto logo? I don't want that. So I need to clear the previous floats. I say clip both and it's going to scoot down below there. Okay, cool. So the next thing I want to do is style that sidebar. 
And I'm going to float this to the right and give it a width of about 26%, not 30% because I want to use the remaining percent for padding or margin. Um, in fact, I'll give it a padding of 1% and then it's still going to leave that 2% gap right here. Okay, and then we'll give it a background of EEE, -E -E, which is a light grey, and we'll give it a margin top also of about 20 pixels just to bring it down a little bit like that. And that looks okay to me. Let's have a look at that page now. Okay, so that's fine. Maybe we can style up this comment stuff a little bit. So let's just right click over here and inspect what's going on. Okay, so we've got the comment meta stuff right here. So let's grab that. And I want to give this a light gray background. So I'm going to come up here where I did the entry footer stuff. I'm just going to make a comma and put the new class in as well. So it's going to get the same styles. Uh, same here. Comment meta. Oops. Comment letter A. That will do. And then this stuff right here, we'll just edit a little bit. Let's have a look. Uh, comment metadata. Let's have a look what's going on. Comment list. Yeah, we'll get rid of that. So if we copy this class over here, come to the bottom. What I'll do is say list style type none. That gets rid of that little number there because I didn't want the little one next to it and then we'll give it zero padding just to move it back over to the left like that and I think that will do guys I mean I don't want to go too deep into this we could style it however we want it to that's what not uh, that's not what this course is about we're all about just making this theme and then you can go off and style it as you wish all right so now we've got the content at the top sidebar on the right and then we've got all this stuff down here the comments all right so that's okay for a post page um, again, if you have any questions about this whatsoever, feel free to drop a comment down below. In the next video, what we're going to do is go on and style now the archive page. So if I click something like this, then currently it looks like this. We're going to style this up in the next tutorial. So I'll see you guys then.